Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, some of you guys might be a bit sleepy now, but this is the last presentation. I try to keep you awake by the end of the presentation. All right. Uh, at first, uh, let me introduce about uh, Sumitomo Forestry. Uh, uh, company name is Sumitomo Forestry. Now uh, founded in 1948, and the startup uh, was 1691. It's a bit old. Uh, this is because uh, formerly the Sumitomo uh, was just uh, one group, but the government didn't like the uh, Sumitomo. Uh, it was too big, so Sumitomo was separated to many companies like Sumitomo Chemistry or Sumitomo Heavy Industries. And uh, Sumitomo Forestry is a division of uh, looking after <coughs> forestation, housing, uh, timber material trading. And now we have uh, 17,000 employees. And uh, we have uh, 100 team group company. We are looking after forest management, uh, international trading, home building, uh, real estate team. Uh, recently, we are keen on doing a uh, uh, large scale timber building. Uh, and uh, also, we are doing building material manufacture like MDF or LVL. All right, uh, as I have explained, we do lots of international trading. Uh, this is an MDF uh, made by Nelson Pine Industries. And uh, we do housing. Uh, this is a domestic division. Uh, and uh, recently, we are keen on doing housing business overseas. Uh, this is handy properties in United States and Bloomfield, United States, and Australia, uh, United States, United States. Uh, we provide around 5,000. 5,000 houses annually, and uh, we'd like to achieve 10,000 houses in a year at overseas. And uh, we do the arrested development in some countries, and the manufacturing, this is important, uh, MDF factory in Australia and uh, LBL and MDF factory in New Zealand, Nelson Pine Industries. We have some board factories in Indonesia, Vietnam, uh, Indonesia. And also with the uh, forest management, uh, we have 30,000 forest plantation uh, in Papua New Guinea. And in New Zealand, we have uh, 35,000. Uh, Indonesia, 125,000. Uh, so we have uh, many branches uh, in several countries, but it is mainly located in Oceania region, uh, Southeast Asia, uh, just Asia, including China and North America. Uh, we have a branch around here. Uh, it should be Amsterdam in Netherlands. Uh, this is a map for you guys, uh, but it's a bit difficult to recognize to me. Uh, all right. So uh, I came from uh, Tsukuba Research Institute uh, for Sumitomo Forestry. We have three groups. Uh, one group is named as Architecture Group. Uh, they are looking after everything that related to timber building and timber housing. Uh, this is a picture of earthquake testing and uh, fire testing. And uh, I belong to material group. Uh, I have been developing timber-based materials. And we have a uh, uh, timber timber resources group. Uh, 
I think they are good at cloning or tissue culture or gene modification. Uh, it's a bit hard for me to understand. Uh, yep. So, uh, I need to explain about the uh, downstream opportunity of Eucalyptus bositana. So, uh, I'd like to talk about global timberization movement from now. Uh, <coughs> Uh, this is a, uh, these are buildings uh, constructed by Finn Forest Finland. Uh, this is a quite large scale timber building. Uh, now everybody all over the world would like to construct such a large scale timber building instead of a conventional uh, steel or a concrete building because the uh, timber building is more sustainable and looks like quite good and very attractive. Uh, this is a photo, uh, I think this is 12 or 14 story timber building uh, made with cross laminated timber. Uh, and uh, in Japan, because I came from Japan, uh, we will have an uh, uh, Olympic uh, in 2020. So the new National Olympic Stadium will be built by uh, timber. Uh, it's a bit hard to see, but the main structural component like this, uh, we be used by timber and uh, some buildings made by Sumitomo. This is a primary school made by timber, uh, gymnastics made by timber. I think this is church and uh, retirement village, uh, cafe, uh, some factories. Uh, I don't know what this is. And even uh, uh, solar uh, power station uh, is built by timber. So it's a bit hard to see, but the basement uh, was built by timber. So now, what I'd like to say is that the world uh, of timber construction, and, uh, everybody is looking for a uh, stiff, durable, and sustainable species. Uh, this is because uh, we need to fight against a uh, building that is made by uh, made of uh, concrete or steel. So uh, to build a very spacious room, uh, we need a uh, uh, stiff timber and. Uh, for uh, outdoor utilization, we need a durable species. Uh, the problem is that where we can get such an all-in-one species. Uh, so that's why uh, we have an expectation on durable eucalyptus, like the eucalyptus bosis toana. Uh, but you may have known the uh, Bosistana is a super durable species in Oceania. Uh, however, uh, every region has a different climate. Uh, every region has every different flora and the fauna. Uh, what about the durability of Bosistana uh, under Japanese conditions? Uh, which are known as one of the world's most severe environment for uh, timber usage because Japan and uh, some Southeast Asia countries have lots of moisture, so that's not good for uh, timber usage. Uh, one of the biggest problems is attack by termites. Uh, these tiny ones, but a uh, very annoying creature, always looking for something to eat, they can't stop eating. Uh, and the problem is that the, uh, this is a Japanese termite, and uh, they are smaller than Australian termites, but 
they're much hungrier than Australian one. I don't know why. They're, uh, they're very, very bad creatures. Uh, termites. Uh, we have a nest of termites. Uh, I think their home and their food. Uh, we need to take 15 soldiers and 150 workers from the nest and supply for each test cup. Uh, the termites are very happy to eat uh, these timbers. Uh, this is Eucalyptus postana. Uh, this is Japanese cypress. And uh, after the test, uh, radiator pine. The, before the testing, the edge was nice and straight. But it was uh, heavily attacked by Japanese termite. And Japanese said uh, they want to eat around the grain because the uh, summer grain is quite nice and soft. And the western red cedar, uh, this is uh, not known as a very durable species in Australia, but Japanese termite. Uh, when I eat Western red cedar, I don't know why. Uh, they're very hungry. And the uh, uh, Bostana, uh, this one looks quite nice and nice and sound. Actually, we've got 0% uh, weight reduction. Uh, these are 10 to 20% weight reduction. So the Bostana, uh, this is 60 years old hardwood. It looks very promising, promising. And uh, Fungus cell test. Uh, this is a test. Uh, uh, the soil, specially prepared soil with plenty of moisture and nutrients and the control temperature. This enhances wood rot, wood rotting fungi activities. Uh, after one year burial, uh, uh, this is walnut. Uh, from United States, and this is uh, Serang gambat uh, from Indonesia, known as uh, super durable species. And this one, uh, Bosistoana, uh, walnut, uh, heavily attacked by fungi. Uh, this is not so nice. Uh, Serang gambat and Bosistoana are nice. We've got very little weight reduction, so it should be durable in Japan. Uh, the only one concern is that uh, we have lots of uh, splitting uh, caused by uh, growth strain. Uh, this is to be improved. Uh, the weight reduction tendency, uh, blue line, uh, Slang gambats, known as super durable species, are uh, usually 15 to 20 years of lifetime on uh, ground contact. And walnut, uh, this is not too bad. Uh, red oak, this one contains lots of starch, so can be uh, decayed quite easily. And uh, postana, uh, is still around here, so it seems to be durable, uh, but not to be as durable as the tropical species at this stage. And uh, please note that this is an, an improved one, so we should be able to improve the durability. All right, so the, uh, all right, it's time. Uh, Summary and recommendation uh, is Bostana uh, termite resistance. Yes, uh, yes, we think this is a termite resistance, but um, ideally, uh, an actual water mm. exposure test will give us uh, further confidence. And also, decay resistance, uh, this is also yes, but unimproved Bostana might not be as durable as. Uh, tropical durable species like Sera and Gambatu. But uh, ones from tropical uh, like Sera and Gambatu, Ipe, Urin, or uh, some Jara, uh, 
I need a sustainable no, environment burning. So uh, Boshitana, maybe the uh, one of the possible choices uh, for sustainable and durable species. Uh, the only one concern is that uh, growth stress. Uh, this is to be improved for various reasons, uh, like for uh, good appearance or, or for safety reason. So, <coughs> uh, is Boshitana all in one? Yes, it can be called so in Japan. And uh, is it recommendable? Yes. Uh, let's uh, move forward to the next step. Uh, keep going. Plant lots of Boshitana. Uh, we'd like to, uh, we need more and more sample. Uh, we, we'd like to build something, we'd like to construct something to show how it is effective. Uh, all right, uh, Kapai, and uh, thank you very much for your attention. Uh, that's all from me today.